Shut up and sit down. Hello, gang, Colin here, Festa 67's workshop, and welcome to pack 11 of Build Your Own Eleanor from the wonderful people over at Fano. So, where do we start the day? We've got the next magazine, magazine number four for you. Uh, if you want to grab an Eleanor and do your own build, hit the link up on the screen or in the description below. As you can see in the magazine, we've got the instructions there for what we're going to be building today, which is going to be the door glass and the door hinge, folks, is what we're going to be doing today. These sections just here little windy hinge and a metal plate to go in only a few screws so we'll do that at the end of this episode and that will give you a fully opening door on the driver's side again very concise instructions everything you need to know about what you're going to be doing is in these pages so give it a good read folks if you're not sure Follow along the video. I'm filming these in packs just to make it easier so you can archive them and search them for whatever pack you may be uh, struggling with. So there you go. Next up, you've got the door interior. That's going to be in pack 12. And that gives you your door handle, all your internal uh, door mechanism release, all of that gubbins in there as well as some of the interior trim parts of the door panel. You've then got some chrome inserts. So I should do packs 12 and 13 as a single episode for you, just so that you can quickly see how you can build the door up and get that stage complete. There's all the information there. In this phase, you'll send the door the window, wind the handle, the kick guard, and the door panel trim. Very simple instructions. Lists all the screws. So keep your screws in your bags until you need them, folks, because some are for plastic, some are die cast. So bear that in mind. All the details are there for what you need, what parts press in, what parts need screws. That then gives you uh, kit 13 completed. Let's just see what you should have by the end of each stage. And then in kit 14, you have got the left hand seat bottom cushion. So the bit you built earlier on with the backrest, grab that and then you can put your seat together, folks. Again, simple fit. Press fit in place, press the cushion in, engage the cross member of the backrest and screw it all together. And then there's a nice picture there of what you should have when you finish the thing. And the seat does tilt forward as well. Next up, we've got some blurb for you. You've got Halaki and his dream. It's all the information there on the beautiful Eleanor. Gives you an idea of where the person lived, all the details there. Uh, Toby's adventures just lets you see how he built the, the Mustangs. You've then got Dominic Cena, the director of the film, some blurb about him, some of his background, some of the classic moments in his career and in the movies. Very interesting shot there at the top where all the camera rig is mounted on this side of the car there. So it's what I like about these magazines. They do give you some really good information on the background of the film. Gives you the details there that he was relatively an unknown uh, in the film industry. Gets you uh, cutting the shooting costs and bits and pieces. Different cars there. You've got Ellen uh, with an E, not an H. Uh, uh, these are the cars that were boosted during the film. More blurb there. You've got Shannon, which is the Plymouth Hemi Cuda. And I do like that look of that car, the red and the black for me, contrasts really well. And look at this, the convertible version. Something about the bustle cars in it from this era. They were so beautiful, folks. Different uh, fact files there. And then you've got the 1964 Indianapolis Mustang Pace car. 
uh, some fact files there, what model it was, what class it was, etc. And then what you're going to get in your next dispatch, folks, which will be the other door, the other trim and all of that. So should we get building? Right, there's all your bits. You've got in there the left window pane. You've got your metal door, plate, the hinge, and your two packs of screws. We need the door exterior panel we built previously. So grab that. I tend to keep mine in there plastic bags just to be on the safe side, folks. Uh, obviously, put a towel down as well so you don't scratch your paint. But look at that. Okay. So spin it round. Locate it on the three little lugs there. The instructions are on the screen, but you'll also be able to download the PDFs from your fan home portal. So you can see the instructions. You get the magazine as well, don't forget. But you need a, a PDF if you're in a different part of your house. Then download it as well. Usual procedure, a little bit of free in one oil. Engage the first screw in whilst holding the window just so that you don't put any pressure on these plastic tabs because you don't want to snap them. They are pretty substantial, but if you're like me and you tend to lean on things, you could end up damaging it, so you don't want to do that. Another dip with a bit of 3-in-1 and engage the screw in the back section. And these are your DS screws because they're going into die cast, folks. Again, just place it on the screwdriver there. A little bit of three in one. And then you'll be able to put that middle screw in there. So let's grab them. There you go. Pop that on the screwdriver. Give it a dip. And then just screw it home like so. Have you some of him? So that's the window in place. And look at that. Already you're just thinking, yeah. Just imagine with elbow on the side there. Oh, what? All day long. Right. Coming on to the next stage now. So grab piece 11C, which is your body coloured hinge. And we'll be assembling that in the door. You've got this tiny little spring loaded piece of metal, and you just want to lift that up just a fraction to engage this in. But make sure you're getting it the right orientation. It does show you in the, the instructions, there. and you just want it so that it's angled correctly. So I'm just looking off screen just to double check which way the angle points, and it does point towards the front edge there. And engage the plate in place. Grab a couple of screws, or a screw, should we say, and then you can just screw that straight home like so. Let it nip like so, and then test the mechanism as well, just to make sure that it's moving freely and that it feels that it's not binding in any way. And then just adjust the tension. As you see fit and that is that stage complete already so give yourself a big pat on the back uh, we'll wrap up for this episode remember folks there is a link in the description and it's also on screen grab yourself one you know you want to head over to Fano have a looky loo at the uh, subscription offer Choose uh, what level you want and go for it. You know you want to, and they really are a spectacular vehicle. And if you're a fan of the film and a fan of the Mustang like I am, you're not going to be disappointed. So I've got to pack up, put this in the bag. See you next time. Bye-bye.